This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're going to be dealing with a Viking oven door that won't close all the way, so we're going to be replacing the hinge. So here's the two hinges that come with it. Here's the part number. And it's important to always replace both hinges instead of just one. So we're opening the door. And on some of these Viking ovens, there's a little Phillips head screw that you have to remove on the door. But most of them, you can just lift the door up. And with this red arrow points at a little end to put in. So once you've done that, we're going to be removing two Phillips head screws that hold on this silver bottom trim plate. Just the top ones, that's all you got to remove. And then you can hinge that plate out of the way, just pull it towards you. And that's done to expose two Phillips head screws on the hinges. But before you do this again, make sure you pull the part that goes into the door out towards you as much as you can. 90 degrees would be great. And then use that little silver pivot to hold it in position. Otherwise, the hinge is very hard to get out and hard to put in. So normally the hinge is out at about 10 degrees. You want it to be out at 90 degrees or close to that if possible. And that little hinge pin will hold it in. So this is the broken one. This one came out pretty easily. And then here's the right side. We're going to do the same thing, just remove the screws. And here's our new hinge. Before putting it in, again, separate it. It's not easy to do. You have to use a lot of strength to get it at least 45 degrees, maybe even 90 degrees, and then it holds out by moving that little silver pivot. That'll, that'll help lock it out in the 90 degree or 45 degree position. That'll make it much easier for you to put the hinge in. So you're going to put the spring part in first. So this one was not hinged out enough and you can put it in but you're going to almost have to hammer it in. So finally get that into position and then we're just going to put the two Phillips head screws in to hold it. So just move the hinge around until you see the little hole in the hinge line up with the frame and then we're going to put those two Phillips head screws in. Put the bottom one in and just get those tight. Yeah, just move it around until you see that whole line up. And over here is on the right side. Sorry, the, the lighting is not great, but we're doing the same thing. We're going to move it around until we see it line up and then we'll put the screw in. So once you have those in position, we put this bottom trim piece back and we're going to install those two Phillips head screws. Pretty easy. So as long as you get that hinge out at about 45 degrees to 90 degrees, it makes this whole thing a lot easier. And that little silver pivot is what will hold it out there for you while you're doing your work. And now that we've got those two screws in, we have the arms for the hinge out at about 20 degrees, and we'll just grab the door and we'll slide it back on. Just take your time here, get both sides to slide all the way down, and then you can test it out, make sure that it can hinge back and forth correctly. And that's all there is to it, so this shouldn't take you very long. Pretty easy to do. The hinges are a little bit expensive, but it should last you for about five to 10 years. And you're door will close correctly and not have any heat escape. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thanks so much for watching our video today. I hope that this video has saved you some time and money. And if so, could you please press down in the video description below the donation link and send us a donation so we can keep this service going. Thanks again. And if you have any questions about this repair, could you contact me at scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the